the right hand of the Father, you will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life of the last Amen. Let's lay our both hands and pray to the Lord. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dear universal Son, son our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For, for the sake of his 
song in my mouth a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. And also Psalm 40 verse 1, 2 and 3. There we read, the Lord is the deliverer. During this adoration we pray for deliverance. So this adoration gives us deliverance from the mortgages, from the sins, from the sorrows and from sickness. So the Lord is there to deliver you and me. So Psalm 40 verse 1 says, I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me. The hear my cry. God inclined to you right now. Brother, sister, wherever you are, right now, God inclined his ears and come to you. To hear you, hear your cry, hear your prayers. He drew me up from the desolate pit and set my steps secure. Right now, the Lord is going to rescue you from a deep pit. You are in danger or you are in deep sorrows and uh, nobody can set you free. But right now, the Lord says, He will incline to his ears and listen to you and listen to your cry and He is ready to rescue right now. Then he put a new song in my mouth and a song of praise to our God. So lift up your both hands and enjoy the deliverance right now. During this adoration, the Lord delivers you, delivers you from the deep pit and also from your diseases, from your vices, from your sorrows. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. So after getting deliverance and healing, our response will be like this. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now we lift up our both hands and again we praise together. Let's sing a song of praise right now. Look into Jesus. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord of the earth. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord of the earth. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord of the earth. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord of the earth. Great and mighty is the Lord our God. Great and mighty is He. Great and mighty is the Lord our God. Great and mighty is He. Lift up the banners, let the anthems rise to Christ our King. Great and mighty is the Lord our God. Great and mighty is He. Great and mighty is the Lord our God. Great and mighty is He. Great and mighty is the Lord our God. Great and mighty is He. Lift up the banners, let the anthems rise. To Christ our King Great and mighty is the Lord our God Great and mighty is He You are the words and the music You are the song that I sing You are the melody You are the harmony Praises to your name I will sing you are the mighty God, you are the Lord of Lords, you are the King of Kings. Now I return to you the song that you gave to me, you are the song that I sing. Great and mighty is the Lord our God, great and mighty is He. Great and mighty is the Lord our God. Great and mighty is He. 
Lift up the banners, let the anthem rise to Christ our King. Great and mighty is the Lord our God, great and mighty is He. What a mighty God we serve, what a mighty God we serve, what a mighty God we serve. 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 This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in Him, and be glad in Him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We glorify you all praise and honor to you, Jesus. You are our Thank refuge, you, Lord. We give you all glory you and honor, Lord. Our problems, praise Jesus. you, Lord. You give us new life, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Guide us, Lord. Guide Lord, us, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let your light shine down upon Lord, us. We worship Burn out Lord. everything, Lord, that's not of you Holy in us. And set us free, Lord. Jesus, let us be one with you. Holy Spirit, Jesus. United with your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Thank we you, Lord. love you. Praise we you, Lord. need you, Lord. We need you more and more. Lord. Every day, Lord. Lord. Jesus, stay we with us. We praise your Holy Spirit. Be with us. Never Thank abandon you, Jesus. us. Never praise leave us, Jesus. Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Adore you, Jesus. Thank worship you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Worship, Lord. Glory Thank you, Lord. You are the answer to all our prayers. We praise. give you all glory and honor, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, we praise, and honor to you, high on this Jesus, holy day, Jesus, Jesus, as your King of Kings comes and upon Lord us, of Lords, we Shaka worship you, we praise you, we adore you, Lord, we adore you, hallelujah, 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 let all the peoples of the world praise you, Lord, thank you, Lord, Jesus, Jesus, you are the King of Kings, you are the Lord of Lords. You are our healer. Rain down your fire, Lord, upon us. You are hallelujah, our hallelujah, you are hallelujah, our hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Glory, glory to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You hold us so close to you, Lord. Every one of us, a cloud of the palm, our names, or the cloud of the palms of your hand, Lord. Jesus, help us to love you more and more, Jesus. To love you more and more, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We give our thanks to you, Lord. We offer ourselves to you, just as we are, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So during this adoration, we pray in a special way for deliverance. Psalm 91, verse 3 says, Psalm 91, verse 3, For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler, and from the deadly pestilence. So all those who are in trap right now as birds are in the trap of the fowler and waiting to be killed or being destroyed or eaten up. The Lord says, I will deliver you from the snares of your enemy and from the trap of the fowler. And also, the Lord says, I will deliver you from the deadly pestilence. Many people have fear of COVID-19, fear of diseases, 
fear of darkness fear of snakes fear of death fear of ghost and um, phobia different types of phobia the lord says today to you and to me i am there to deliver you from your sickness from your fear from your anxiety hallelujah hallelujah so psalm 91 verse 3 the lord is the deliverer and he will deliver you as you are going to be delivered from the snares of the fowler and the pestilence will not touch you hereafter that means there will be a protection i just remember the sorrow of a family one father mother and only son came to me just to be prayed over this family is in deep sorrows and the son is already in the snare of the devil he was studying in uh, second year of his college second year of his degree and he could not continue it now he is 26 years old and during his study in his college he went for a party in which drinking smoking is something like an orgiastic party so after that og party he was in an another world when he came here together with his parents this young man at the age of 26 having a long beard and um, earphones always is keeping in his ears and listening some music then he pierced his ears and put some kind of ring and sometimes he is smiling sometimes he is laughing then the parents said when he is sleeps he is unconscious he doesn't know what he is going to do and when he is going to get up nobody knows and he is not eating the timely food sometimes he is getting very angry with us sometimes he is smiling sometimes laughing but not talking no conversation in the family that mother told me my son is in the snare of the enemy what shall i do she asked and the father of the son equally in deep distress the lord gives this promise if you are in deep distress today because of your sickness or your problems or your son or daughter there is the remedy so i took this book this prayer book and page number 19 protection prayer binding and casting out prayer first i did the protection prayer for myself and for the family then i did a binding and casting out prayer and i asked them to do this prayer for 9 days and these 9 days they have to do that deliverance prayer in a special format it is written there there is format but there is some dash dash there is some space to be filled so i suggest to them please do this deliverance prayer for your son for example in the name of jesus i cast out you the wicked spirit of lust hatred anger fear jealousy pride sickness pain chronic disease and mental disorder so we can add there anything that we want or anything that we have seen instead of from me from him so that used to that empty space to fill it up lord deliver him from the mental disorder and i bind this spirit 
and I send this spirit to the feet of Jesus. And uh, you, the wicked spirit of, there's a space, wicked spirit of mental disorder or a spirit of substance abuse, have no right over him. No right over him. Or uh, they prayed also, no right over you. Because I prayed this prayer like this. There is, you are saved by the blood of Jesus. Evil spirit has no power over you. And if that person is in a distant place, we can do the same prayer. No power over him or her or you. Then send that spirit to the feet of Jesus and give a command to be bound there eternally. Then intercession of saints, Mother Mary and patron saint, Saint Michael and so on. So I did that prayer. That young man who was at the age of 26 just removed his earphones. Then he listened to me properly. Once again I prayed over him. And I asked the parents, please do this prayer for nine more days with the same format. First you do the protection prayer for him and also the deliverance prayer. And uh, also I have given one more prayer. Page number 103. Binding and casting out prayer. This is an elaborate form that that is a short form. So first they did the elaborate form and followed by the short form. I bind you the wicked spirit of mental disorder and substance abuse and uh, this kind of mental aberration from him. In his absence, he has to pray. They have to pray from him and send them to the feet of Jesus and offer one divine mercy chaplet at the end. Tenth day, they came to visit me in Logos. I couldn't recognize that young man. He shaved and um, he trimmed himself and he dressed up well and he's a gentleman. He's very normal now. There is no disturbances and his face is so happy and the family is also so happy. Then the following week he resumed his studies and he completed his graduation and now he is employed. Praise the Lord. So the deliverance belongs to the Lord. Psalm 3 verse 8. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. It is not our work. But Jeremiah says. Chapter 1 verse 8. Surely the Lord will deliver you. And Psalm 91 verse 3 says. He will deliver you. From the snares and trap of the fallen. And also he will deliver you from the pestilence. So now the whole world is frightened because of pandemic COVID-19. So today I have a testimonies. How many people are being set free from the ventilator? Because of the COVID-19 they are in the ventilator. How they are set free after this three o'clock adoration? How many people are set negative? How many people are set free from COVID-19 positive to set negative? So their test result is negative. They are set free from pestilence. The Lord promised it and that is yours and you will get it. Because it is promised, praise the Lord. Right now the one who is listening to me COVID-19 positive. The Lord says to you, don't be depressed. The Lord is going to set you free from pest pestilence. According to Psalm 91 verse 3. And surely the Lord will deliver you. There are some parents who are looking to Jesus right now. Having afflictions and problems and pain in their heart because of the bad habit of their children. Some of them are drug addicts. Some of them are going for some parties. Some of them are not coming in the night and that time they are sleeping and uh, total disorder and um, these children do not know what they are doing and parents are deeply worried but please do this protection prayer deliverance prayer 
After that, binding and casting out prayer and one chaplet. Within nine days, you will see deliverance in your son or in your daughter or in your husband or in your wife. Because it is promised in the Bible that I will deliver you. And deliverance belongs to me as God says. Praise the Lord. So today is a day of deliverance. Your house is going to be set free. Right now I am going to read out all the testimonies that I have received yesterday and today. Some houses are just infested by poisonous insects. And their, their house is set free. How this happened? By sprinkling the holy water. That is God's work. So we just pray from this place, from the sanctuary. Bible says, I was in deep distress. I looked to the sanctuary. From there, my help will come. Right now, you are help coming from this sanctuary. Psalm 118, verse 26. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. That is Jesus and he has come and he is on this the uh, altar and he is inside the blessed sacrament. He lives in the, in the Eucharistic blood with body, blood, soul and divinity. That is Catechism of Article 1413. How Jesus lives in the blessed sacrament with the body, with the soul and with the spirit. So with the body and blood, soul and divinity. Jesus is alive in the blessed sacrament. So just to say in your heart, Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. That is Jesus. He has come. And right now he comes to your place. Wherever you are. In which continent you are. And which country you are. Or which nation that you belong to. The Lord comes to you right now. And he sets you free. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. That is promised. But we have to ask to Jesus. For ourselves and for others. So right now. I have seen 16 young people who are addicted to drugs. Parents are deeply worried and they are set free. And uh, there are some children who turned as homosexuals or lesbians. And today the parents' prayers are answered. They are going to be set free. Because this adoration, we keep it for deliverance. And the mass also, we keep it for deliverance. And every day we have a deliverance prayer and a healing prayers in six areas of life and also anointing of the Holy Spirit. So today there is no exception. But today we give more importance for deliverance. And all those who want to know more about deliverance and exorcism and the areas of the dominion of the devil, which are the faculties, intellectual, physical, spiritual or emotional, faculties are under the dominion and guidance of the devil there you are in need of deliverance your children are in need of deliverance the concerned person in your family is in need of deliverance and that deliverance will take place and jesus will give you the deliverance but we have to ask for and there is a format all those who want to know more about deliverance and exorcism please go to the web page and uh, go to the blog session. There you will get to an article, Exorcism and Deliverance. And uh, what all things that you have to do, which prayer that you have to do for deliverance. So when you daily participate in this online ministry, I give you guarantee in the name of Jesus, one day you will see that your house is freed from black magic. Your house is freed from infestations of the insects. Your house is freed from drug abuse. Your house and family members are set free from dominion of the devil. Finally, you will see that your house and your children, your family, all together enjoying heavenly life. And your family will become like a heaven on earth. Amen. And all those who are widows and widowers and are not settled in marriage, God, the Yahweh, is their partner. They will have a wonderful life with God Almighty. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 5 says, Yahweh is your husband. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 2, Jesus is your partner. Your marriage is already over. Praise the Lord. An assisting partner will become the best partner. 
children will become the best children like olive shoots around the dining table and the wife will become the best wife like the fruitful vine and your husband will be like an apple tree and or like a cedar tree in Lebanon such kind of blessing is coming to your family so deliverance will take place and also if any one of you are addicted to drinks or drugs or porn or pornography or uh, other tendencies there you think that there is no escape or maybe suicidal tendency or you are addicted to sorrows and uh, sometimes you have a uh, abnormal behavior and you think that there is no deliverance i tell you based on psalm 91 verse 3 for he will deliver you from the snares of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence and uh, I will protect you. I will cover you. I will keep you safe and secure under my mighty wings. Praise the Lord. So all of you are going to be protected like a hen protecting the chicks. So the mighty wings of the Lord. And you have to take refuge under the mighty wings of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. So when uh, we take eggs and uh, keep it for hatching the hen will sit on it 21 days and giving heat then slowly slowly that bondage of the eggshell the boundaries of the eggshell will be broken so the chick inside the egg started breaking by itself is breaking but it get that egg gets heat from the hen and the life is being formed and 21 days after a new life coming out breaking the boundaries and the bondages in the same way then light heat and radiation coming from the word of God that is from Jesus Christ and also Psalm 91 says I will protect you under my wings and uh, be under the mighty arms of the Lord right time. He will put you up. He will rescue you. First Peter chapter 5 verse 6 and 7. Worry not. Cast your anxiety into him. He cares for you. And be under the mighty arms of the Lord right time. He will lift you up. So right now all those who are listening to the word of God. And looking to Jesus. Going to become a new creation. You are going to break your bondage right now with Jesus. Because the word of God. Word of God is like light, heat, fire. This word of God comes to you. And you are going to become a new creation. So all those who are in Christ Jesus are a new creation. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. All those who are in Christ Jesus are a new creation. Right now, we listen some of the testimonies how the people are being set free from their sickness, from their bondage, and from their afflictions. And how they received wonderful anointing. These testimonies are the proof that our Christ Jesus is alive today. Praise the Lord. Testimonies received on the 12th and 13th of August. Joseph Babu Bablu Das from Kolkata testifies, I am blessed with the gift of tongues. Also my son Jason Das, 10 years old, was blessed to see the vision of the sacred heart of Jesus in the blessed sacrament. Praise the Lord. Marlena de Souza from Goa, she says she received the gift of tongues and the house is freed from rats, cockroaches after sprinkling the holy water. Flora Sweetie Das from Kolkata testifies, I'm healed of nausea and throat pain after drinking the holy water. Maria Almeida from Bangalore says, her home is freed from lizards after sprinkling the holy water. Savio de Souza from Mumbai testifies for his cousin, Carol de Souza. He was suggested for an operation for removal of, she was suggested for an operation for removal of uterus and ovaries. She was taken to the operation theater and we all in the family members were praying for her during the adoration and her operation at, the, at 4 p.m. She requested for a repeat scan and it showed the ovaries were shown completely healed. All praise to God. 
Blessy Gomes from Goa. My hair fall and itching of head disappeared after listening to others' testimonies. Giddiness and weakness is healed completely, and her colleague named Shweta has no fits since the family started watching the online adoration. Nita Fernandez from Goa testifies for her daughter, her daughter-in-law, who is blessed with a good job in UK. Also, she says, my husband is healed from COVID symptoms after watching the online service. Victoria Pinto testifies, I'm healed of varicose veins on the leg. Scalp psoriasis is better after applying the holy oil. And my nephew is healed of his sneezing. Thank you and praise you, Jesus. Pearl de Souza from Musket testifies, she says, my kitchen is freed from cockroaches after sprinkling holy water and blessed salt. Malando Bernard from Bangalore, he says, I regularly join the online service and I feel calm and peaceful. My wife is blessed with a good job and I'm able to sleep well. Thank you and praise you, Jesus. Shweta from Bangalore testifies that her house is freed from poisonous insects after sprinkling the holy water. Jasmine Pinto testifies and says, thank you, Jesus, and Father Joe and team for this online service. I'm completely healed of kidney protein leakage. I was on steroids. Now it's reduced as my blood test reveals I'm healed. All glory to Jesus. Rita Remedios from Kuwait. She says, I found my lost license while watching the adoration service. Zania testifies, I'm healed of severe acidity when Father Joe's announced 10 people are healed of acidity. Savio Santimano testifies for the four-year-old daughter who is healed of fever and throat infection after attending the healing prayer on the 11th of August. Thank you, Jesus. Janet De Souza from Goa testifies, I'm healed of stomach and knee pain after today's service. Praise God. Harry Samraj from Bangalore says, I'm completely healed of gastritis and chest pain. Praise the Lord. Sandra testifies, I'm healed of severe lower back pain and hip pain, which she suffered for two months on the 10th of August when Father Joseph announced the healing. Savio Mascarenas testifies, I finished my ICU prayers successfully. Now I experience freedom from fear and progressive healing has started. I got back my big amount of money which was pending and my sister who fell from the stairs miraculously, nothing has happened to her. All glory to God. Lucia Marie Theresa testifies, I'm healed of dragging and limping leg after claiming the healing when Father Joe's announced today. My walk and joint movement and walking, I'm walking very normally now. Praise you, Jesus. Elizabeth de Souza testifies, thank you and praise you, Jesus, for favors received. She prayed for her nephew during the adoration. And she says, now his drinking habit has lessened considerably and he has become calm. And she reports of diabetes and thyroid, which showed a normal and mild pain in the left, left side arm and neck is healed after I applied holy oil. Boil on my waist healed when I applied holy oil. Thank you and praise you, Jesus. Jacinta Saldana from Mumbai says, I'm healed of severe acidity during the Holy Mass today. Natalie Cordoza testifies for her sister who is healed of her eating disorder due to high BP, cholesterol, and diabetes. When Father Joe's announced today one person is healed of eating disorders, I claimed and I prayed for her. I phoned to check and praise God. She had regular food and feeling fine. Hallelujah. Martha Beatrice, she says, I'm healed of varicose veins, also of fungal infection and sprain in the back, which was healed by the holy oil. And when I decided to be a doer of the word of God, thank you, Jesus. Doreen Topo from New Delhi says, I'm 23 years old. After my fibroid operation, I had lower abdomen pain on the right side. I was completely healed today during the healing service. I praise God and thank Father Joe's. Anthony testifies for his washing machine that was not working for two months, started to work after receiving the blessing of electronic gadgets. Praise the Lord. Anita Norona testifies for her mother. She says, my mother, 87 years old, received these healings through the online service. Due to a fall, she had fractured her rib and she is healed. 
She was on a di she was on diapers. Now she is healed of urine incontinence. Her throat infected, infection and suffocating suffocation after drinking holy water. She is completely healthy now. All glory to Jesus. Gracie Norona from Bangalore testifies. I was suffering from acidity, gas, and unable to eat since two months. I am attending the online service. On the 11th of August, during adoration, I was completely healed. When Father Joe said, someone is healed from eating disorder. All glory to Jesus. Carol de Souza testifies for his nephew's child in the US, who was born prematurely, had a weak heart, and had to be fed through the nose. On August 4th, Father announced healing of a child who cannot eat and has a heart problem. In faith, I received this for this newborn child. They had an appointment with the pediatrician and cardiologist today and just received a message that the baby is normal. I have also received healing from acidity and allergy. All praise and glory to my healer. Victoria Amala Rani from Bangalore testifies, I was highly diabetic and the ECG was taken on the 11th of August. I attended the healing adoration and went for a repeat ECG and sugar test. My report came very normal. Lucy Satish testifies for her cat and bird, which were about to die due to electric shock, but survived after applying blessed oil and holy water. Buagi Godfrey testifies for his wife, Kossi, who received healing of painful lumps beneath her breast and the ear. During the live streaming adoration, Father announced that somebody is for a long time suffering from cancer and is healed. She claimed it and all the lumps disappeared and now she's feeling very well. The blessed salt and water has diminished the assault of the devil in our home and we are now protected. Praise God. Philomena from Mira Road testifies, I'm healed of vertigo, giddiness and weakness after adding my petition in the chat box during the live screening. Also, my house is freed from cockroaches after sprinkling holy water. Thank you, Father Jose and team. Mrs. Tellis from Bangalore testifies, I was suffering from cervical spondylosis for the past 10 years. And on the 20th of July, Father Jose said, a person's spondylosis is healed. I claimed it, and I could immediately feel the pain decreasing. And now I'm completely healed. Thank you, Jesus. Fernandez Cheryl testifies, through the online service and prayers, I could see the positive changes in my life partner. As always, there was conflicts in our relationship. Now we are peaceful. Thank you, Jesus. Mercy Mary, Mercy Mary testifies for his sister. She says, my sister Victoria tested COVID-19 positive after participating in the online, sorry, online adoration. Her test came negative. Heaviness on my head has disappeared and I feel I felt a sweet fragrance which lasted for a few moments. Thank you and praise you, Jesus. Bernard Lopez from Dubai testifies for his daughter-in-law who is healed of severe skin rashes on her stomach. During the healing prayers, she was healed. Thank you, Jesus. Shalomi DeMello testifies for herself and Cheryl Ann who are blessed to get admission in their desired colleges. college. Praise the Lord. Sister Anita Morris testifies for her brother who did not consume alcohol but started joining the online service. Thank you, God, for this miracle. Lucy de Souza testifies for her nephew, Aaron, who is healed of headache, vomiting, and fever after sending email petitions to Father Jos. Esther testifies of for Anthony Vincent Bangalore. He tested positive for COVID-19 and was admitted to hospital. We attended the 3 to 5 p.m. online service. We heard testimonies of COVID patients being healed. We believed he too will be healed. Praise God, he tested negative and is discharged home. Thank you, Jesus. Mary Metilda testifies for her daughter, Cynthia, who had COVID symptoms. She says, we decided to test for COVID. Before that, we prayed during the 3 to 5 online service. And praise God, the report came negative for COVID. Cynthia says, I'm testifying for my daughter, Jamima, who's healed of acidity reflux from birth. And I claimed Father Joe's announcement when he announced for the healing, she claimed that healing for her daughter. My daughter's friend is healed of severe back pain and sleeplessness. And she says, I'm healed of blood clot in my leg. Yesudas 
testifies for his three children who had COVID symptoms, but after prayer, the test report is negative. Rose Fernandez, she says, I'm healed of my ears, in my ears, which used to pus, and a long time, for a long time, she was on use of antibiotics, which did not help. After participating in the online healing session, I'm completely healed of my ear problems, which I suffered for six years. My house is freed from lizards and cockroaches. All praise to God. Esther testifies, I'm healed of food, sorry, food al allergy, especially fish. Yesterday, after blessing adoration, I ate fish for supper. There was no allergic reaction and I'm completely healed. Patricia says, my house is freed from silverfish infestation after sprinkling holy water. Thank you, Jesus. Victoria testifies for her nephew. She says he is healed of sneezing after applying holy oil. Princey Modgill says, I'm healed of severe acidity and neck pain. When Father Jose announced one person is getting healed of acidity, I claimed it. I'm completely healed. Rosario from Mumbai testifies, I'm blessed with good sleep after claiming the healing on the 11th of August. Praise you, Jesus, and thank you, Jesus. Father Savio says, my friend is healed of high fever, weakness and loss of appetite after joining the online service. Also, my mouth ulcer has healed. Francis Gomes testifies for Johanan, who is blessed to get admission in college of his choice after the online prayers. Praise the Lord. Royston Pereira testifies for his son, Elroy, who is healed miraculously and weaned off the ventilator support after the online service and now he is talking and healthy. All glory to our healer. Joyce Rodericks from Dubai testifies for her six-year-old daughter who was having excessive blinking of her eyes since many days. She says, I applied the blessed oil on both her eyelids and kept my hands on her. From the next day onward, her eyes are perfectly normal. Praise the Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When we look to Jesus, we have hope because Jesus is a source of hope. All hopeless cases tend as hopeful. The people who didn't get admission in their desired institutions and college, just after the adoration, they get the message that they are being admitted. And also a child in the US, as you heard the testimony, premature child having heart complaint, not at all eating any food. Just after the three o'clock adoration is over, the following day they went for a medical checkup. They got the message that heart is functioning well and the premature child turned as mature child and also eating normal food. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And also we heard the testimony that dragging leg is being healed. And um, 86 year old nanny just getting healing of her uh, fractured uh, ribs and uh, walking disability. And also we heard a testimony that one person is taken for operation for a uterus removal because of sister tumor. Then got another inspiration. Yesterday I participated in the Eucharistic adoration. The Lord might have healed me. Suggested for a second scan. There is nothing and the surgery didn't take place. And we heard all these testimonies. Wonderful, wonderful it is. Brother, sister, it is yours right now. A testimony. And where you are now, as the Lord says... I will rescue you and I will make you free from deadly pestilence. These are the promises given by the Lord. It is for you and it is for me. By faith we receive it. And we ought to become the doer of the word of God right now. I just request you, please lift up your both hands. Right now you are on potter's wheel. When you take a decision, Lord, I want to be a doer of the word of God. You are on potter's wheel. You are like a clay in the hands of the Lord and the Lord has already put you in the wheel. And uh, any time major changes can take place in your life, in your family, in your finances. As we heard today the testimony how the people are set free from substance abuse and the problems and fight in the family. Their families just turned as a heaven on earth lift up your hands with lot of possibilities right now that you have with jesus so you are 
lifting up your hands and looking to Jesus with a lot of possibilities. Every time the Lord is going to reshape you because you are not a finished product. Sometimes there is damage happened through the dominion of the devil or maybe your own personal wrong decisions or maybe the jealousy or hatred of people who have vested interest and you are damaged but the lord is going to reshape you and to right now lift up your hands and look to jesus be under the mighty wings of the lord psalm 91 verse 4 as the hen collects all her eggs and just hatching it 21 days after all the chicks are breaking the bondage and coming out in the same way the lord is giving you his power on you and power putting in you and giving you the strength so you are going to come out of it by the help of jesus as the chicks are coming out from the wings or under the wings of the hen Oh, the chicks are joyfully coming out as a new beings in the same way today onwards you are going to become a new generation in the name of jesus i pray over you right now i bind and cast out all bad spirit that are working against you i bind and cast out all the negative spirit working against you i bind and cast out the spirit of infirmity from you touch by the lord right now you are being touched by the lord lord touch them now and set them free there are some people who have broken legs and hands. The Lord says you are healed. And also rash in the body, you are healed. And psoriasis on your head and neck, you are set free right now. And also frequent urination, the Lord says to you, you are healed. And the night, several times, you are going to the loo and um, you have a lot of problems and frequent urination and you could not sleep well, the Lord says you are healed. And also your nightmare, you are set free right now. Then during this adoration, we prayed for deliverance and deliverance belongs to the Lord and surely he will deliver you. In the name of Jesus, I bind and cast out all negative spirits, the spirit of black magic, spirit of spell and curse and negative thinking, suicidal tendency, bad relationship and wrong relationship and filthy relationship and addiction to softens or prawns the lord may touch you right now and set you free amen. amen be filled with the holy spirit amen lift up your hands and praise and thank god thank him hallelujah thank the lord thank you lord praise you lord let the cancer be healed let all blind see their eyes be open let their ears be open right now all those who are deaf Thank you, Lord. Let all those who are mute, let them speak well. Hallelujah. Amen. Transfix your hands on your chest and kneel down. Transfix your hands on your chest and kneel down and look to Jesus right now. You are getting an answer of your prayer. If you ask for yourself or for somebody, that prayer is being answered. As a child in U.S. being completely healed of his heart, weak heart become very strong and premature child become mature child. The same thing is going to happen when you place your hand on your chest and look into Jesus. First, your prayer is answered. Psalm 103 verse 3 says, All your prayers will be answered and all your sickness are healed. That is Psalm 103 verse 3. That is going to happen in you. All sickness are going to be healed. All prayers are being answered. Hallelujah. Every praise is to our God. Every worship to our God. Every praise Every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah to our God. Sing hallelujah to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving. 
be every moment thine. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Today's Holy Mass intentions offered for the special intentions. of Annie Seto, Candice Joseph and family, Edward Fernandez, Nidhi M. Naidu, Amanda, Dominic and Dennis, offered by Marina Miller, Andre Michel and Matthew de Montero, Anish Vadi Reddy and Anane Koma Reddy, Anna Mary Thuma, Shobha Vadi Reddy and Ravinder R. Thuma Reddy and family, Anne Marie and Mark Pinto, Annie Matthew and Michael Williams, Anthony Joe, Ali Napier, Baba Cristiano, Bernadette and Christina, Blanca Pinto, Carlo Thomas, Charles and Regina Mary, Christian von Jagwitz, Clinton and Robert Miller, Clinton, Noella Miller and children, Elizabeth Victor, Esteban and Pramina Fernandez, Father Jose and the entire Logos family, Gaspar and Pam Pamela Rodriguez, Ivan de Souza and family, James and Pauline Texera, Jerry and Lena Pereira, Joseph and Arul Santosh and family. Kevin and Cheryl Kulas, Kevin and Mamata David, Luisa Suresh and Tatari family, Manju and Nikarika Tuma family, Maria and Newell Rebello, Maria Lima and Susan Joyce, Mary Cynthia and Monica Angeline, Mary Koma Reddy, Max Graf Konigzeg, Michael Thomas, Murray Fernandez, N.B. Behanen and Mary Kuti Behanen, Patrick P. Mills, Pradeep De Souza, Rita Schlitz, Rita Paul Suran Kim and family, Rosie Francis, Roy, Sab and Attila, Sandra Napier and Godfrey Gomes, Sebastian and Dixon de Souza, Siraj Sabarwal, Shalom and Ratisha Pires, <coughs> Shanti Lobo and family, Shashikala Rubin, Sunil Kutino, Sunil Kumar Jeevi, Susan K. Shaw, Tanya and children, Vida and Mavi, Vida and Mavi, Vivian Korea, Warren Dixon and family, Yogesh and family, Yogesh and I do. Thanksgiving Mass on the birthday of Gracie Gangadharan, Arun John, who celebrates fourth birthday, Ethan, Glenn de Souza celebrates his 50th birthday. Gracie Gangadharan celebrates her second, 72nd birthday. Keen Fernandez, Leon Lobo, Mari Ghosh, Melissa Fernandez, Michael Williams celebrates her ninth birthday. Michelle Ashlyn celebrates her third birthday. Samantha Woods celebrates her 17th birthday. Savita Baboza. Thanks, King Mass, on the wedding anniversary of Aaron and Divya de Souza, who celebrate the eighth anniversary. Joseph Vargis and Molly Joseph celebrate the 35th anniversary. Joseph and Philomena Andrade. <coughs> Joseph and 
mass for the souls of in purgatory, all the forgotten souls in purgatory, and souls of aborted babies offered by Surin Kim, all forgotten souls in purgatory, offered by Marlin Ryan and family, all souls in purgatory and all lost and forgotten souls offered by Juliet Dice, all souls in purgatory offered by Alex Raj Raipa, all souls in purgatory offered by Jerry and Lena Pereira, all souls in purgatory offered by Marina Miller, all souls in purgatory offered by Violet Mascrinus, all souls in the family tree of Ganji Maradi, Ma offered by Anuradha Thuma family, all souls in the family tree of Ina Reddy Thuma, offered by Anuradha Thuma and family, all souls of the family tree of Joseph C. Philip, offered by Celine Joseph, all abandoned souls offered by Marina Miller, all aborted babies offered by Vinod and Perpetual Thomas, Nikhil Davis offered by Flavita and Vazir Pereira, Lobo and Roderick's families offered by Jerry and Lena Pereira, aborted babies all around the world offered by Jerry and Lena Pereira, Alarico Fernandez offered by Noel Ribello, Alex and Mary Lobo offered by Jerry and Lena Pereira, ancestors of Decona and Thomas family offered by Vinod and Perpetual Thomas, Ancestors of Fernandez and Dikona family, offered by Edward and Jacqueline Fernandez. Arokia R. Thuma, offered by Anuradha Thuma and family. Augustine Castellino, offered by Castellino and family. Baptist and Agnes de Souza, offered by Sylvia de Souza. Baptist uh, Dikona, offered by Violet Mascarinus. Benjamin Johnson, offered by Johnson and family. C.X. Joseph, offered by Rhea Philip. Clarence Fernandez, offered by John Fernandez and family. Dennis and Anna, offered by Perpetual Thomas. Gabriel and Theresia, offered by Teresa Suresh. Helen Almeida and Andrade family, offered by Nelly Rego. J. Sudas and Celine, offered by Royan family. Johnita Gomes, offered by Leticia Lobo. John Norona, offered by Gertrude Fernandez. Ligio Roy Pereira, offered by Jerry and Lena Pereira. Matthias Miranda, offered by Vida Miranda. Nicola and Rosie Menezes, offered by Ratisha Menezes. Nirmala Jacob, offered by V.Y. Gino and family. P. Joseph, offered by Mary Francis. Priests and religious, offered by Jerry and Lena Pereira. Rajila Thomas, offered by Thomas Corina and family. Rita Ribello, offered by Ida Ribello and family. Rosaline Miranda, offered by Violet Mascarinus. Santan Mascarinus and family, offered by Violet Mascarinus. Sebastiao and Esperanza Fernandez, offered by Ratisha Menezes. Stanley, Hazel and Jerry Arland, offered by Marina Miller. T.M. George, offered by Tina George. Teresa Miranda, offered by Violet Mascarinus. Veronica and Sylvester de Souza, offered by Merlene Lobo and family. Veronica, offered by J. Sudas and family. John Shakespeare Burley, who expired this day, offered by Valerie Mendes and family members. All aborted babies, offered by Marina and Miller and family. We also pray for Mary, Alex, Vaz and family members who have been tested positive. Five members have tested positive. We pray for their healing. Here we are, all together as we sing a song, joyfully. Here we are, all together as we pray, we'll always be. Join me now as friends, and celebrate the unity we share. All as one, keep the fire burning, kindle it with care. And we'll all join in and sing Here we are All together as we sing a song Joyfully Here we are All together as we pray we'll always be In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us surrender to the Lord all our prayer intentions and intentions of this Holy Eucharist. Let Jesus hear our prayer. Surrender everyone who needs our prayers and those who have asked our prayers. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us be mindful of all our shortcomings. 
all the sins that we have committed by our thoughts by our words by our deeds in those moments we omitted some good deeds ask forgiveness from god of mercy i confess to almighty god and to you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy let us pray Almighty ever living God whom taught by the holy spirit we dare to call our father bring we pray to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen go into exile by day in their sight a reading from the book of ezekiel chapter 12 verses 1 to 12 the word of the lord came to me son of man you dwell in the midst of a rebellious house who have eyes to see but see not who have ears to hear but hear not for they are a rebellious house therefore son of man prepare for yourself an exile's baggage and go into exile by day in their sight you shall go like an exile from your place to another place in their sight perhaps they will understand though they are a rebellious house you shall bring out your baggage by day in their sight as baggage for exile and you shall go forth yourself at evening in their sight as men do who must go into exile dig through the wall in their sight and go out through it in their sight you shall lift the baggage upon your shoulder and carry it out in the dark you shall cover your face that you may not see the land for i have made you a sign for the house of israel and i did as i was commanded i brought out my baggage by day as baggage for exile and in the evening i dug through the wall with my own hands i went forth in the dark carrying my outfit upon my shoulder in their sight in the morning the word of the lord came to me son of man has not the house of israel the rebellious house said to you what are you doing say to them thus says the lord god This oracle concerns the prince of Jerusalem and all the house of Israel who are in it. Say, I am a sign for you. As I have done, so shall it be done to them. They shall go into exile, into captivity. And the prince who is among them shall lift his baggage upon his shoulder in the dark and shall go forth. He shall dig through the wall and go out through it. he shall cover his face that he may not see the land with his eyes the word of the lord thanks be to god psalm your response is never forget god's deeds never, never forget, forget god's, god's deeds. deeds they put god to the proof and defied him they refused to obey the most high they strayed as faithless as their fathers like a bow on which the archer cannot count your response 
never forget God's deeds. With their mountain shrines, they angered him, made him jealous with the idols they served. God saw this and was filled with fury. He utterly rejected Israel. Your response? Never, never forget, forget God's, God's deeds. deeds. He gave his ark into captivity, his glorious ark into the hands of the foe. He gave up his people to the sword in his anger against his chosen ones. Your response? Never, Never forget, forget God's, God's deeds. deeds. Can we stand for the acclamation? Emmanuel, Emmanuel, He sent His Son, Emmanuel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Because of your love, give me life, and I will do your will. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the world. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 18, verses 21 to 35. Then Peter came and said to him, Lord, if another member of the church sins against me, how often should I forgive? As many as seven times. Jesus said to him, Not seven times, but I tell you, seventy-seven times. For this reason, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his slaves. When he began to reckoning, one who offed him ten thousand talents was brought to him, and as he could not pay, his lord ordered him to be sold, together with his wife and children, and all his possessions, and payment to be made. So the slave fell on his knees before him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the Lord of that slave released him and forgave him the debt. But the same slave, as he went out, came upon once of one of his fellow slaves, who offered him a hundred denarii, and seizing him by the throat, he said, Pay what you owe. Then his fellow slave fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, I will pay you. But he refused. Then he went and threw him into the prison until he would pay the debt. When his fellow slaves saw what had happened, they were greatly dis distressed, and they went and reported to the Lord all that had taken place. Then his Lord summoned him and said to him, You wicked slave, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. Should you not have had mercy on your fellow slave? as I had mercy on you. And in anger, his Lord handed him over to be tortured until he would pay his entire debt. So my heavenly Father will also do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother or sister from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Today, Jesus is teaching us the lesson of forgiveness, how many times we should forgive. Jesus is saying about unlimited forgiveness. Whatever happens, you must forgive, says Jesus. In the parable today that we heard, it is said about 10,000 talents and 100 denarii. What is the difference between 10,000 talents and 100 denarii in today's standard? I just calculated with the help of internet and I got there are two kinds of talents. One is of gold and the other one is of silver. If it is of gold, 10,000 talents means $11.9 billion. It is $11.9 billion. And if you convert it to Indian rupees, it is 89,067 crores of rupees. So such a huge an amount. 
And when we speak about silver talent, it is almost $161 million. And when we convert it into Indian rupees, it is 12,048 crores of rupees. So then also it is a big and huge amount. Speaking about 100 denarii, 100 denarii is a salary of a man for four months, four months salary. One year salary is 300 denarii and it is one third of his salary of a year. And it is almost $12,000 in Indian rupees. It will be some 8 lakhs and 98,000 rupees. When we compare it into 1,000, 10,000 talents, it is much smaller, a little amount. But here, the servant or the slave who was forgiven his debt was such a hum hu huge amount, 10,000 talents, and he is not able to forgive the one of his slave, fellow slave, who owes him just 100 denarii. This is the story of us also. Each one of us has also such a story. God the Father forgive us all the sins. How did he forgive? By giving up his own son. He loved the world so much so that he gave up the life of his own son. 10,000 talents is given for our own sake. And salvation is such a priceless gift given to us. A freedom, freedom of kingdom of heaven is given to us. Dear friends, how can we receive this freedom, this release? We can receive it through forgiveness, forgiving our brothers and sisters. How huge is the gift given by God and how we should receive it by forgiving our brothers and sisters. Remember about the great love of the Lord. Love is patient and love is kind, says St. Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4. Love is patient and it is kind. Have love with everyone and have unending forgiveness, unlimited forgiveness to everyone so that we will be really, really blessed. What Jesus is asking us is this and his perfect model kept before us. Ask the Lord and let us receive this gift, this nature, this character of forgiveness. Amen. Let us once again surrender all our prayer intentions to the Lord. All our sickness, all our problems, worries, our tensions, our confusions, difficulties that which we undergo, our financial crisis, problems in the family, problems among brothers and sisters, problems in marital life. Ask the Lord for a solution. Jesus is the perfect comforter. He is the perfect problem solver. If Jesus is with us, we will be able to forgive and forget. A saying is like this, to err is human and to forgive is divine. Today as we celebrate this Holy Eucharist, ask for the special grace to forgive everyone so that we will be also forgiven. When you pray, if you find that you have got some problem with someone, forgive him so that your sins also will be forgiven, says Jesus in the Gospel of Mark chapter 11. Ask forgiveness from the Lord. Jesus, we surrender all the problems of our heart those moments we were not able to forgive anyone. Give us grace and power. Give us courage to forgive everyone, Lord. We pray for all those who need our prayers and ask our prayers, especially those who are affected by COVID-19, isolated in the hospitals, in home quarantine, those who are suffering, those who are in their deathbed, in ventilators. We pray, Jesus, for all those doctors and nurses and all those who are working in the hospitals, Bless them abundantly, Lord. Give them courage and transform their hands to be a healing hand. Pray for all our authorities, all the heads of nations, so that they will be able to keep peace in the land through their decisions and interventions. 
We pray for all the endeavors for developing a new vaccine against COVID-19. Bless them abundantly, Lord. Also, we pray for all the departed souls, all those who have passed away from this world. May they receive the mercy of the Lord and may they inherit the eternity, eternal kingdom. Surrendering all our needs and wants, all our prayers, let us sing the offer to him. Bring them to the Lord, bring them to the Lord, I will bring my gifts to the Lord. I will offer Him my heart and offer Him my life, I will bring them, yes, bring them to the Lord. I bring my joys, I bring my tears, Jesus comes to me. He heals my heart, He heals my soul, He will lead me home. Bring them to the Lord, bring them to the Lord, I will bring my gifts to the Lord. I will offer Him my heart and offer Him my life, I will bring them Yes, bring them to the Lord. Bring them to the Lord. Bring them to the Lord. I will bring my gifts to the Lord. I will offer Him my heart and offer Him my life. I will bring them. Yes, bring them to the Lord. I will bring them. Yes, bring them to the Lord. I will bring them, yes, bring them to the Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent us our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he entered his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fond of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Peter Machado, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to attain a life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, O oh, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The bread that I will give, says the Lord, is my flesh for the life of the world. Spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are present. I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. In the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you. And I desire to receive into you into my soul. Into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Into my heart. I I embrace you. I embrace you as if you were already there. As if you were already there. And unite myself. And unite myself wholly to you. Wholly to you. Never permit me. Never permit me to be separated from you. To be separated from Amen. you. Amen. Amen. Like old King Solomon, the Lord gave me the task of finding what I want from him. For these three gifts I'd ask, I'd ask for faith, hope, and charity to strengthen me. Faith, hope, and charity to set me free. Faith, hope, and charity. To lead me where I meet my Saviour in daily prayer. Love surpasses knowledge and strength when we are weak. God is love and love is God, the honey old man seek. I'd ask for faith, hope and charity to strengthen me. Faith, hope and charity to set me free. Faith, hope and charity to lead me where I meet my Saviour. In daily prayer, I meet my Savior in daily prayer. Let us close our eyes for a moment. Closing our eyes, let us see Jesus is with us. Jesus suffered a lot on the cross that night and on that day his whole life was for us for the remission of our sins forgiveness of our debts to forgive is the character of God. He has forgiven our sins. And He is asking us today to forgive everyone. Pray for the special grace to have a quality of forgiveness in our life. We must be able to forgive everyone. 
Jesus, give us this grace today. Amen. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace of Christ. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So during this holy mass, the Lord has given us paradise as a free gift. And your destiny is not in hell, but in paradise. Luke chapter 23, verse 43. Today you will be with me in paradise. So Jesus has come to this world to restore the paradise that we have lost. Brother, sister, I ask you this question. Where are you now? In, in paradise, paradise or in hell? In or uh, in sickness or in bondage? Or uh, are you in the devil's paradise? If you are in the devil's paradise, the proof of that paradise is given in Galatians chapter 5, 19, 20 and 21. So these people who are doing all these things will not enter into the kingdom of God. They are in the paradise. Uh, they are in devil's paradise. But your destiny is not in devil's paradise. Your destiny is with Jesus, Jesus. in paradise. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So if you are going through right now hell, the Lord is going to set you free. And to enter into that kingdom, the basic characteristics of the kingdom of God is love. Love is manifested through forgiveness, unlimited forgiveness. So you just forgive. That means God is there to restore what they have destroyed. But you have all the right to stand for your justice. If anything is justice, and uh, you have to stand for justice and file a case also to get to the justice if concerned person doesn't give you the justice. But do it without hatred in your heart. That is most important. You can file a lawsuit if you have a right. Nothing wrong in it. But do it without having hatred in your heart and with an attitude of forgiveness when that person acknowledges that mistake. I have done a mistake. Forgive him 70 times 7 unlimitedly. So you are free to take a person to court to get your uh, justice. But do it without hatred. You are free to file a divorce case if it is needed, if you are cheated or betrayed. But do it without hatred. And um, if somebody grabbed your property, take that person to the court. Do it without hatred. And if that person corrects it or acknowledges mistake and ready to repair it, Immediately withdraw the case. That is forgiveness. Amen. Amen. So right now, I ask the Lord, according to Psalm 91 verse 3, He will deliver you from devil's paradise and transfer you to God's paradise. So we are supposed to be in God's paradise. That was our destiny and the humanity was there in that paradise and is lost because of the entry of the devil in this world. Jesus defeated him and restored the paradise. If anything is just holding you in the devil's paradise, right now through this prayer, you are going to come to the paradise. In the name of Jesus, I bless all the doors of your house. When you go out, you may get safety, security and protection. Especially protection from COVID-19. The Lord may protect you under his mighty wings. When you come inside, you may get safety, security and protection. And time for prayer and worship. The Lord may give you fellowship in your family. Your assisting family may become the best family in the world and let it become heaven on earth. Let all your family members enjoy 
paradise with Jesus and enjoy a banquet with Jesus because you all are invited to a banquet with Jesus. He is knocking at the door right now. Open the door for Jesus. He will come inside and take you for dinner. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I bless your family altar right now and to your rooms, compound, and entire house and where you live. That place be blessed right now by the sign of the cross. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I bless this salt. Let it become a source of healing. I bless this food and edibles. Whenever your people use it, they may get freedom from lifestyle diseases, especially diabetes, blood sugar, cholesterol, food allergies. Let all of them be completely healed by using this blessed food. As Jesus blessed the bread and fish and given to the people and encouraged them in their spiritual journey and that helped them to seek you the, on the following day. In the same way, after taking all the food which are blessed, they may come after you, Lord. They may follow you, Lord, for eternal bread. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I bless this food as St. Paul blessed the bread. When he was in the ship and ship was about to break and they were in great struggle and 14 days they didn't see the sun and they didn't eat anything. But Paul encouraged them and helped them to eat and he blessed the bread and given to them. Acts chapter 27 verse 33, 36. According to that message, I bless this food right now. In the name of the Father, Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. And all those who share this blessed food, may overcome all the dangers in their life right now. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I bless this water and make it holy. As Jesus bless the water in Siloam and give the power to that water to heal the blindness, to heal the sick. As the Heavenly Father stir up the water in Bethsaida, and that water has the power to heal the sick. Right now, let this water be turned as the pool of Bethsaida. All those who use it be healed of all types of diseases. And I bless this water as Jesus blessed the water in Siloam. Let it open your eyes. The Lord may bless this water right now by the sign of the cross. And let it become like baptismal water. Whenever you use it, you may get freedom from sickness and also freedom from the dominion of the devil and all your baptismal grace be reenacted. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I bless this oil. As Jesus blessed the oil in Mark chapter 6, verse 12 and 13. Let this oil get the power to heal the sick and whoever applies, let them be healed. Let them be healed even from COVID-19 positive. Let the Lord bless this oil right now. I bless it by the sign of the cross. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I bless all the articles that you place there for getting blessing. Get it to be blessed right now. All your electronic gadgets that I bless and all the scapular medal, crucifix, cross, holy icons, incense, candles, and everything that you place there, including medicine, be blessed so that you may get wonderful, wonderful divine interaction when you use these articles. According to Acts chapter 19, verse 11 and 12, and Acts chapter 5, verse 15, I bless all these articles so that it may get the power to heal and deliver. In Jesus' name, I bless all these articles right now. Amen. Amen. Lift up your both hands. I bless your hands right now. In the name of Jesus, I bless your hands because Mark chapter 16, 17 says, when you lay your hand on the sick, sick will recover. Yes, Lord, bless these hands right now. I bless your hands like the hands of Moses when he extended his hand. God's power worked through his hands. Exodus chapter 14, verse 21 Moses extended his hand. God's hand worked along with him. When you extend your hands in the name of Jesus, the person of Jesus may work along with you because you are doing the work of Jesus. 
In Jesus' name, I bless you and bless your hands and bless all your intentions and let your body become the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Praise Jesus. you, Jesus. Praise, Praise you, Jesus. your hand right now where you have a sickness. Somebody's tumor on the head that is being disappeared right now. Somebody's cartilage damage. Cartilage is damaged, but that is rectified right now. There are some people on ventilator. Right now, they are freed from their ventilator. Praise the Lord Jesus. heals. Thank you, Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Where you place your hand right now, the healing power of Jesus is going to be manifested. Then Jesus said, lay your hand and heal the sick. He didn't ignore human care and medicine. But there are some sickness in your body which will not be healed by care and medicine. That reserves to Jesus. These diseases are reserved to Jesus and his ministers. And you may continue the medicine and care and pray, prayer. 99.99 .99 you will be out of your sickness. And if you are not out of the sickness, take it as a special call. That is the rarest gift. You will get immense joy in your suffering, in your sickness and get wonderful power to heal others and other charisms. Like Saint Little Teresa of Lisieux or Saint Alphonsa or Padre Pio or some other great saints. Rarest gift. You may not get it or may get it. But these are the possibilities of your sickness. Instantly many of you are going to be healed. As you heard today, number of testimonies, how the people are healed instantaneously. Right now some people are getting healing. Cough and cold and allergic cough is being healed right now. Your teary eyes is healed right now. And uh, your earphone that you are using is not working, but your ear is start working now. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. So, 55 to 60 percentage of the people are going to be healed instantaneously right now. Another 35, 40 percentage will be healed progressively. If one or two left out, these people will have immense joy and wonderful charisms. That is, the, that is called the gift of joyful suffering and that is a blessing from God. But God has not given you that sickness. But God can teach the devil and teach him a lesson that these people are faithful and enjoying charisms. And tell the whole world that devil is a cheat. He will betray you and put you in hell like these persons who are afflicted by demons right now. But God has given them immense power and wonderful charisms to show the whole world that Devil is a cheat. And devil is the owner of that suffering, not God. God cannot give directly or indirectly the suffering to the humanity because Catechism book, Compendium 57 says that. And also, Catechism book 311 says, God is no way the author of our suffering. The holy people or saintly people also have a suffering. God is nowhere responsible for the suffering of these holy people. And wicked people are also under suffering. God is no way punishing them. God is nowhere responsible for their suffering also. The entry of the devil is a reason of human suffering. The entry of Jesus right now in your life is the end of your sad stories and today you will be with me in Jesus. paradise. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I bind and cast out spirit of infirmity from you right now. Somebody is feverish always. That person is healed right now. One child cannot speak. That child is getting speech right Praise now. Praise Ability to Thank speak. You, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Two you, ladies Jesus. are setting free from arthritis. Your arthritic Thank pain you, and deformity Praise is gone. Lord. The Lord touch you right Jesus. now and heal you. In Thank Jesus' you, Jesus. name I pray. Amen. 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 Somebody's business is broken, totally broken. And there is no possibility of getting it back. The Lord says you will get it back. The Lord is blessing you right now. Amen. Lift up your mouth hands. In the name of Jesus, I bless your soul. The Lord may set you free from the spirit of sin. Amen. Amen. The Lord may bless your mind so that 
you may get healing of all psychosomatic diseases. Your sleeplessness, sleepless, sleeplessness is being healed. Your psychosis is being healed. Your mental disability is being healed. Your mental torture is gone. And schizophrenia is being healed right now. The Lord touches you right now and heal you. And your phobia is being healed right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Let your family become a heaven on earth. Your assisting partner will turn as the best partner. All those who do not have partners, Jesus may become their partner or the best partner. And uh, all your children become obedient and spirit-filled children. In Jesus' name I pray. Let your children be anointed by the power of the Holy Spirit. And if anybody wants to conceive you, right now the power of God comes upon you. I pray over you. Conceive in the name of Jesus. All those who have conceived, they may get safe confinement and safe delivery. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Let your finances be blessed. I bless your finances and your career. Let the Lord set you free right now from jealousy in your career. The Lord just setting five persons free from jealousy from others. So that your promotion is blocked. Today or tomorrow you will get that promotion because of jealousy that is being blocked. It is released right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And God knows that how to rescue, how to relieve you, and how to deliver you. And God knows that how to place you in high places. Amen. Amen. He is not only relieving you or releasing you from the hands of the enemy, but he knows that where he has to appoint you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Jesus. God rescued Joseph from the jail and put him on the throne. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise, Praise you, Jesus. Jesus. And uh, God knows that how to be Peter freed from the jail and ask him go to the pulpit and preach there. Amen. 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 So God knows that how to place you where you want to be. Where is your destiny? There you will be. Because God will do that. In the name of Jesus, I bless your business and career. I set you free from all black magic. Pray for your deliverance. And the devil damaged anything in your life, let it be rectified right now. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I pray over you that the Lord may give you deliverance from spell, curse, bondage, dominion, affliction, possession, temptation, trial, and tribulation of the devil. I set you free from the bad effect of the black magic, spell, and curse. Right now, two families have a lot of struggle because of black magic. They are set free. And nine persons are set free from their financial bondage because of some spell happened in their life. They are set free right now. Amen. Amen. Somebody's health fully damaged after the spell or curse or um, some kind of sorcery or black magic. The Lord says you are set free. Amen. Amen. None of the weapons will be working against you. None of the weapons will not work against the believers. Be the doer of the word of God. All the weapons of the devil will be destroyed. These are fake weapons. The devil has no weapon at all. Jesus asked him to surrender all the weapons at his feet when he died on the cross. Galatians 2.14 Now he has only fake weapons. And the weapon which God has given to you, he may steal it and use it against you. But when you become the door of the word of God, none of the weapons of the devil or fake weapons will not work against you. The black magic will not work against you. You are set free today. And I make a 10 feet of wall of fire around you, wall of protection around you, according to the prophecies of Zechariah chapter 2, verse 5. Let there be a protective wall around you, around your house, around your persons. Amen. Amen. Place your hand above your head. I pray for your infilling of the Holy Spirit. There are pastors and priests who are there being prayed over. They will get a wonderful ministry gifts, healings, deliverance, anointing that you will get. It is already there. It will be multiplied. And uh, charismatics, all those who are in the charismatic prayer, charismatic line, their charismatic gifts are being encouraged and en enlightened and strengthened. And all those who have some talents, they are called, the called motivation gifts, according to Romans chapter 12, verses 6 to 8. These motivation gifts, 
are being multiplied right now and strengthened. Your skills are being blessed right now and it is multiplied. I say and gifts that given to all believers so that they may enjoy God's love. In Jesus name I pray. Let all these gifts are to be multiplied right now. Let the fire come upon you right now. Let there be a sprinkling of the holy water upon you. Let there be a washing of the blood of Jesus right now. You are being washed by the blood of Jesus. Let us pray in tongues right now. And your tongue is being released and you are getting the power to pray in tongues. Hallelujah. I show that the Lord may give you a gift of vision. The Lord may give you a gift of vision, gift of healing, gift of miracles, gift of binding and casting out evil spirits. Shola Rishala Habala Rasala Hamali Raisholo Balala Habala Raisholo Bala Raisala Bala Habara Isholo Bala Raisola Bala Hila Raisala Bala Raisala Bala Raisala Bala Amen. Somebody's big tumor in the stomach is being disappeared. Amen. Amen. God is good all the, all the time. time. God, God is Jesus good. Lord now, now and, and forever. Jesus, Jesus is great. Always and forever. Always and forever. Jesus is great. God is good all the time. All the time. God, is, God good. is good. God is good. By the sign of the cross, deliver us, Lord, from all our enemies. Save us, Lord. You are our God. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. To so all those who have a testimony. And also a prayer intention, please contact me through frjoacvat at gmail.com. Please look to the screen now. You will get email ID, how to send your, or to which you have to send your testimony and prayer request. And for uh, mass intentions or love offering, after doing it, please contact me through another email. And uh, that's the office people are handling it and uh, they will properly do it according to my direction. So that is logosblr at gmail.com. Praise the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Goodbye, sin. I stay no longer with you. Goodbye, all my sin. I stay no longer with you. Goodbye, sin. I stay no longer with you. I made up my mind to follow Jesus all my life. I made up my mind to follow Jesus all my life. Goodbye sin, I stay no longer with you, goodbye all my sin, I stay no longer with you, goodbye sin, I stay no longer with you, I made up my mind to follow Jesus all my life, I made up my mind to follow Jesus all my life. Born, born, born again, thank God I'm born again. Born, born, born again, thank God I'm born again. Born, born, born again, thank God I'm born again. Born, born, born again, thank God I'm born again. Born in the Spirit, one with God, thank God I'm born again. Born in the Spirit, one with God, thank God I'm born again. Fire, 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 oh fire fall on me. Fire, 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 oh fire fall on me. Just like the day of Pentecost, oh fire fall on me. Just like the day of Pentecost, oh fire fall on me. Born, born, born again, thank God I'm born again. Born, born, born again, thank God I'm born again. Thank God I'm born again. Thank God I'm born again.